search for cinematic lots and look up tables during the budding days of our filmmaking journey. So there's nothing wrong about that. But when we roam around from one YouTube channel to another YouTube channel looking for cinematic lots and some of them just give us the lots free and some of them just ask us to buy the lots. In most case scenarios, the lots doesn't look good in most of our footages. So you have some experience of that, I'm sure. So in this video, I'm going to show you a technique by which you don't have to rely so much on other people for the LUTs. You can make your own cinematic LUTs based on your favorite film look. Yes, you heard me right. You can make your own cinematic LUTs by yourself. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. Let's get started. <laughs> What's up everybody, my name is Satyajit and you are watching Edixer. So one thing you have to understand that getting film look it not only just drag and drop the LUT on your footage. It's not only depends on color grading but also depends on various things like lighting, costume designing, set designing, lens choices, camera movement. So getting a film look is not that hard and also not that easy. So as I told you, I'm going to show you the step by step process for getting your favorite film look for yourself so for that now let's move to the studio and there i'll show you all the processes in this video we are going to create three looks from three movies so number one is from the joker movies indoor look and number two is from the oh brother where are the movies outdoor look and number three is from the movie whiplash so first thing we need to do is to download our mobile app which is called adobe capture and it's available on Android and iOS. It's free. Just download the app. And after that, open the app. So here you can see a couple of options like materials, type, shapes, colors, looks, patterns, and brushes. So for this tutorial, we are going to use looks and click here on the gallery icon and camera roll and so here is the screenshot from the movie Joker just select the screenshot and here is the coolest part just click on this and now you can see so these are the primary hues extracted from the screenshot you can select any of them according to your liking so for the Joker look I am going to use this one and you can also apply this on your image live to see how the LUT or the looks uh, working on your footage or your image so for that click on the second dot and upload your image and here you can see my photo you can increase or decrease the slider and if you hold on this image you can see before and after so here is the before here is the after so we just extracted a look or a lot from a movie and now click here on this arrow and save the look rename it joker indoor okay save it it is saved now go back click on this cross and here i saved it earlier so now here you can see the joker indoor lot click on these three dots and export as look so it will save it as a cube file dot cube file and you can share this to your computer transfer the file to your computer and you can use the lot from there and now i will jump into the computer and show you how you can appropriately use the lot on your footage so here you can see this is the unedited footage and here you can see this is the reference frame so now let's color correct the footage first for the white balance let's select something white so our footage is already color corrected now let's color grade it so for that add an adjustment layer on the top and go to creative and browse so here is our joker look double click so it's already looking good but you can see that the skin is greenish so for that add another lumetri from here 
and go to HSL secondary and add the skin colors and check this one and now refine and select the skin so our skin is selected add some denoise and add some blur and now uncheck this one and go here and increase the mid tones a little bit and increase some magenta tints to the screen and decrease the saturation from the screen yeah it's looking good and you can increase the shadows a little bit not that much okay it's looking good actually so now let's compare it with the reference footage so for that click here and click here so you can see the reference footage and on the lumetiscopes in our footage you can see that exposure is little bit more than the reference footage so if i turn this off you can see that this exposure is little bit more than the reference footage so for that we can create a mask around the face and we can darken the area around the face okay so click here and add another adjustment layer and go to fx control go to opacity and create a mask around the face so as my face is not moving not moving that much so i don't have to uh, track the mask so it will work just fine so here now increase the feathering decrease the expansion and now change the blending mode to soft light so this area is darkened so just invert it and decrease the opacity okay so now let's see before and after so here's the before here's the after here's the before here's the after so now if we compare them so it's little bit less you can see so here's the before here's the after okay now let's see here's the before here's the after before uh, now you can see that they are pretty much close not exactly the same but they are pretty much close as i told you that drag and drop the lots doesn't work you have to work on your footage to get good colors so add another adjustment layer or you can just add lumetri from here so i prefer to do this way now let's go to the creative tab and decrease the sharpen so we can eliminate the video-ish look so decrease it little bit like 17 or 16 will work fine okay just let's see this okay it's looking good and decrease the saturation as well little bit okay so now it's looking good so one thing you can notice that there are some green tints on this eyes so we have to remove that so for that you can just add another adjustment layer it's easy just create a opacity mask around the face and go to curves hue versus saturation and we will decrease the green from here so if i zoom in you can clearly see that so here's a here's the before here's the after here's the before here's the after so we have to feather the mask so now here's the before here's the after there are no green tints on the eyes okay so now let's fit so it's looking good so now let's compare them so as you can see that this is little bit warmish green and this is little bit uh, cold green so for that we can just go to this adjustment layer and go add another lumetri and go to select the skin from here invert this one so this will be applied only on the rest of the areas other than the skins 
so we can just refine a little bit more. Okay, so denoise it and add some blur. Okay, and go to this color wheels. You can just uncheck this one and now add some greenish tint and decrease the shadows as well. Increase the midtones a little bit, increase the highlights. But now you can see this green matches the matches this green. Okay. So for the final touch, let's go to Luma vs Saturation Curve and select the dropper tool and click on the dark area like this. So this area represents shadows and this area represents highlights and decrease this one. So now you can get some clean shadows. You can do this for highlights as well. Just click here and decrease the saturation of the highlights. So now you can get some clean images. So this is our Joker look. So we just created a look from our favorite movie by ourselves. So let's compare them. So they are pretty much same, pretty much close I guess. So the last thing you can do, you can add some film grains and black bars on it. And one thing I could do that I can change the color of this one to violet. So we are pretty much done. So this is our first look. Now let's move on to the next look. So here is the look from the old brother where are those. So this is the reference frame and this is our footage. And first I color corrected the footage. If I turn this on, you can see. So I increased some temperature. If I turn the curves off, you can see this is the basic color correction. I increase the highlights, decrease the shadows, increase the whites and in the creatives. I decrease the sharpen a lot so this was taken in 4k so for that I decrease the sharpen a lot so here you can see the greens are not actually green they are yellowish in color so for that what I did in curves I selected the green tint from here so if I just double click here so I selected the green tint from here and decrease the saturation okay so this and for the hue I selected the green tint again and again change the color to little bit warmish like this one. So here is our basic color correction and in the color wheels to make it little bit more contrasty I decrease the shadows increase the midtones and decrease the highlights as well. So this was our basic color correction so for the look i added oh brother where are those movies lot which i just created in adobe capture so if i turn this on you can see it's looking great so one thing i noticed that there was some magenta tint here so again i went to curves and decreased the magenta tint from here so if we compare them side by side and again i added some black bars and now let's zoom in so if we compare them side by side it's pretty much close so now let's play the whole thing so this is the look from oh brother where are you Thank you guys for watching this video. If you need any of the LARS from this tutorial, just let me know in the comment section. So I will upload the description with a Google Drive link from where you can download the LARS. Just let me know in the comment section. And I really hope that you learned something new from this video. So if you do, please like this video. You can share it with your friends and subscribe and hit the bell icon for future notifications. I will upload more photography and filmmaking tutorials and contents on this channel. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys in my next video till then stay creative peace